Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ricardo Aguilar, and I'm the first affirmative speaker for the legalization of prostitution for adults. So for this, uh, we will be having three uh, main claims, with our first one being uh, legalization, legalizing adult prostitution has multiple economic benefits, and I can list three of them to you right now. The first one will be Prostitution can be taxed to bring in a new source of income for the country. This has been quoted by Haddock's reporter, uh, black market crimes, prices, and a global sex trade. There can be a whole market under um, being underused and undeveloped, which can um, bring a whole source of income that the United States is not used. The United States can actually flourish for, um, under, and can help protect people as well. With that, my second claim, uh, my second point would be it gives, uh, it gives individuals economic opportunities. For some, it is surprisingly that an average sex worker is found to make $3,000 a week. With that, doing the math all the way through, it can be a nice sum of money for someone who is not, who's having an economic hard times currently. As well, this is, quoted under CNS, uh, CNBS, CNBC News reporter Chris Morris when he was going under an investigation to understand what the Nevada uh, Bunny Ranch uh, is doing and what is happening out there in Nevada. The third economic benefit, it, saves, um, it can save the country money regarding saving taxes, uh, taxes used on arresting and um, what's it, criminalizing and sending to court prostitutes and their constituents. There's uh, 6.5 million uh, taxes established to pay 6.5 million per year uh, for prostitution to, um, to keep prostitutes behind bars. With that, uh, with that, that 6.5 million can be saved and used in different parts of the economy and saving the United States money with that. Our second large um, point is prostitution can um, make it safer. A, it reduces the amount of rapes victims in the United States. Alone in, in 2014, the state of Rhode Island accidentally legalized prostitution without realizing that. <coughs> the statewide incident, gonorrhea dropped from 39% across the board in women, and rape and reported rapes dropped 31%. Uh, point number two. It also gives prostitutes uh, employment rights. There have been a lot of horror stories of what happens when one is in the, uh, one is in the sex trade field and the sex industry. This can give them protection, field, field support, stability and give a sex worker something to fit, fall behind on instead of something to fall into, which is generally commonly known as a fist while in the, in this, in the trade. This is reported under uh, Daniel Raffle, Rifle's legalizing prostitution in February 2014 in employment rates for prostitution. As well as my third point for making prostitution safe, and prostitution makes it safer, uh, it reduces the amount of STD victims. There has been a, and uh, Dave Andrews' top 10 reasons why prostitution should be legalized. According to the new study presented at the International AIDS Convention in, the Australia, uh, in Australia, the transmission of HIV among sex, sex workers could significantly reduce if no one prostitute is legalized, and we are to debate that it is, so it can be help people reduce the STD account, and they don't have to live with it. Really? And our third reason, legalizing will allow the government to control the industry. I was speaking earlier how a lot of the industry is pushed to underground and very shady types of fields, making a, the workers in the field scared for their lives, customers the ones that are in charge, and a lot of underhanded and backhanded tactics to be used to keep women in this field. 
If the government is able to be a hold of it, it protects people, it protects, uh, it protects possible children, anyone being forced into a field that they do not want to be into. This can be open and can be publicized to keep people safe, keep people under, um, keep, keep businesses under the nose of the government, and keep regulations on top of them to make sure everyone is safe, consenting, and willing for whatever job that is possible in that sex trade. Uh, for example, um, Ern Finn's Treasures, Why America Should Legalize Prostitution in, 2000, in November 2013, sex workers in Nevada have to take syphilis tests, HIV tests, um, once a month to ensure that themselves and the customers that are paying for the transaction are both safe, consenting, and knowing what's going to happen in the end. With that, my second point to the third um, major point, uh, it gets labor rights. It also gives them, outside of just having safety, it refers also back to legal rights, making sure that they also get paid when off sick and if they uh, have a chance of getting pregnant. Uh, sex labor, sorry, labor laws and social security laws that do not recognize sex workers as legitimate, it contributes to the stigma and to the underhanded um, politics used behind it and small shady um, practices. Thank you.